Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my watermelon and lime granita. It is so good, so refreshing, and since summer is coming to an end, which means the end of watermelon season, I want to make this for you now, um, just to take advantage of it. And it is really good and really easy, probably the easiest, most refreshing dessert, snack, whatever, you will make this summer, and I'm telling you, you're gonna just love it. Um, the ingredient list is really short and sweet. You just need watermelon, water, sugar, lime, that's it, that's all. You could do this with agave if you don't wanna make a simple syrup. You could do this with a little bit of honey if you want to. Just keep in mind that if you're going to use honey, delicious it will be, it is going to alter the, the taste just a little bit. It's going to taste, it's gonna have more of a honey flavor rather than just a really bright watermelon lime flavor, which is what I'm going for. Let's make the simple syrup, really easy. In a saucepan, you're going to add sugar and you're going to add oh, a little piece of lime and you're going to add some water and you're going to just bring this to a boil and just cook this long enough for the sugar to dissolve that is it you don't need this to turn into caramel you just need to dissolve the sugar the granita is the ingredient list is really short um, but it's the method that makes this so fantastic so i'm thrilled to share it with you because you don't need a machine i mean you're going to need a blender or a food processor or whatever to blend everything but you don't need an ice cream machine like you would to make ice cream or like a sorbet so i think you're going to really love it i'm going to keep my eye out on my simple syrup and then we'll kind of pull everything together before it goes into the freezer simple syrup is done now i'm going to add pretty much everything in the blender i got fresh watermelon this watermelon looks a little bit on the pink side, but believe it or not, it is so, so sweet and delicious. I don't get it, because usually it's gotta be really red for it to be really yummy, but it's delicious. And I'm going to just juice a whole lime. If you have not had watermelon with lime, you are missing out on one of the best things on the planet. So when I wanted to make granita, which I would normally do, I would normally add lemon to a fruit. For me, it was lime, all the way it's really amazing the flavor combination is to die for and you're gonna love it and your simple syrup doesn't have to cool down all the way it is fine 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 and now i'm just going to blend this until it's nice and smooth let's do it i'm just going to pour this through a sieve i just like to do it through a sieve because it will catch just in case there's any seeds or anything left behind, any big pieces of pulp or anything, because I want a really nice, smooth granita. And I put this in a glass, we use a ceramic, um, in a glass dish, because this is gonna go into the freezer. Now, the magic, the magic is going to happen in about, I would say it's gonna start in about an hour or so. I'm gonna show you what I mean when I get there, but for now, I'm just gonna strain this and pop it into the freezer. All right, so my granita was in the freezer for about two hours. I checked that, um, I checked on it about an hour into it and it wasn't set enough on top for me to do anything with it. So now it's been two hours and it's set on the top quite a bit. So this is what you do. You take your fork and you just do this. You see how I'm just running it back and forth like that and you're kind of breaking off all of these large chunks. This is how you get that beautiful texture that granita is known for, okay? And if more sides, sort of the, the side, if they get more set than the others, just do what I'm doing and break them apart with your fork. It's all good. What you don't want is for this to freeze in a large chunk of ice, basically. Nobody wants that. So this is perfect. Look at this, really slushy and beautiful. I'm gonna pop this back into the freezer and I'm gonna continue to do the same thing here by just scraping it with a fork every hour until, until it's basically all frozen in little teeny tiny bits. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. And this could take anywhere between another two hours, another four hours, it really all depends. I just want you to come in here every hour and just give it a little scrape of ruby maru and it's gonna be amazing, I promise. All right, this took about five hours total, and this is what you end up with, and it is fabulous. It's like an Italian version of water ice, unless that's a Philly thing, but like an Italian version of shaved ice, basically. It's incredible, and I can't lie, I've been sneaking some of this, okay? And it is delicious, 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 delicious. It's light as a feather, the perfect cool summer treat. Mm. 
super good, super delicious and refreshing, but please make sure you get a really juicy, flavorful watermelon. Otherwise, you're really going to miss out on that lovely, fresh watermelon flavor. It's going to just taste like ice, basically. This, on the other hand, is perfection. I will have the recipe written down for you on lauraintekitchen.com. It's really simple and easy. You can tailor it however you like. You can skip the sugar if you want to. You're the boss, applesauce. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.